Hey guys, welcome to another video here on the Aviation Pro channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure virtual CDU for the iFly 737 using the iPad. Now, virtual CDU is an app which allows you to control your FMC and to program your FMC with your tablet device. It works for Apple device, iPad, but also for Android. So, um, this is the uh, website that you will use. It's called Virtual Avionics and you can find it at virtualavionics.com.br and basically um, here is where you um, download uh, the client that you're going to need uh, to install and also you can find the apps uh, right here. So as you can see it's available for the App Store, Google Play and you can also find it at Amazon. So um, I've made a video already to demonstrate and to review this app and um, you can find it here and basically I will show you uh, how well it works. It works very, 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 very well and um, uh, also some, some little tiny little drawbacks but those are very minor issues in general. This app is perfectly fine. Um, so right here I'm going to show you how to configure it properly. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is go to virtualavionics.com.br and you're gonna have to click on the, one of the languages so we'll pick the US for English and you're gonna go on to this page and as you can see a menu sh um, is right here that uh, allows you to uh, go to the download page and you can also go to the product page of course to find all the products there's also one for the 747, the 777, the uh, A320 and as you can see also the 737 so let's take a look. Um, you're gonna have to go to downloads, and as you can see, you have to make an account. So um, just make an account here, um, uh, get yourself a password, then log in, and in the download section, then you will find the uh, link to install the client. And this client is gonna communicate with Flight Simulator, and it also allows your iPad to communicate with Flight Simulator. So. Um, it works just like Remote Flight, an app that I've reviewed before. You install a client uh, and make sure that the computer and the iPad are both on the same network and on the same address and then they're going to communicate with Flight Simulator and uh, with Remote Flight you can control the radios that way and with this app you can control your FMC. Um, so once you have installed everything and when you're uh, running uh, the client for the first time it's going to show up here as you can see virtual avionics and um, it's going to show some uh, show you some important information it's going to show you the IP address that it's going to um, yeah that you have to enter into your iPad in order to let the client and the iPad communicate with each other so keep this address in mind you just hover over the icon here and as you can see the IP address shows up and that's the one you're going to need to um, yeah, configure your iPad so let's see how that works so we have the iPad here and as you can see I've already installed it. Um, so I'm quickly going to show you how to configure it. Um, let's take a look. We'll just uh, go to the App Store and uh, look for Virtual CDU. There we go. Uh, as you can see it comes up with the different CDUs that you're going to use. Um, as you can see the normal Virtual CDU uh, at the top. Um, I'm not sure if you can read it but at the top here is the normal CDU. Uh, is for the uh, 737. You can also buy for the 777, the A320, and also the 747 of the iFly uh, should show up here soon as well. Um, so you have to buy the app Virtual CDU. It's $20 uh, to and 20 euros. Uh, so it's quite expensive for a rather simple looking app, but I think it's very worth it because it uh, works very fine and easy. And it doesn't, uh, uh, yeah, you don't have to. Uh, mess around with apps like Air Display or things like that. Um, it, you don't need all those things. This just uh, allows you to uh, run Flight Simulator in full screen. You don't have to undock any windows. It works perfectly. So um, at least it's hassle-free and works perfectly fine. So we download the app here. Um, then it's gonna show up, of course, right here. And as you can see. There's a settings button and that's where we're going to have to go to and it's going to show you show you a message saying that you have to go to the settings. So we're going to go to the settings instead. Right here. And in the settings somewhere, of course, in the menu, you can find virtual CDU. So um, there are a few options here. I'm just zoom in a little. So there are a few options. As you can see, uh, you can 
change the type of display you want, so LCD or CRT, uh, which is the green text, uh, like in the old FMCs. Uh, you can also um, select which side FMC you want, so either the captain or first officer, of course the layout is different for each of those. Um, prevent display timeout, I think that means that uh, your screen won't turn off after, uh, or your screen won't auto lock after a few minutes, uh, but uh, for me it's not necessary because it's not auto locking anyway. But what's really of matter to us is this one, and um, as I have shown, by hovering over the icon right here, you can see the IP address that it's uh, available to connect to. So you have to enter this IP address, so 192.168.2.11. Uh, you have to enter that here in the iPad. So uh, it might be different for you, but general is something like 192.168. Point something, point something. Okay, so you have to enter that IP address here. Uh, just keep the port the same. Um, I haven't changed it. It was 9000 already when I installed it. So I'm just gonna keep it that way. Um, and there are a few other options like monitor connection drop and also to auto reconnect on a connection drop. So you can um, click those on if you want to. So after you've configured everything correctly, you can basically connect with your FMC. So I'm gonna open up the FMC. I'm also going to start up Flight Simulator. Okay, so as you can see, I've started up Flight Simulator 2004 and I've loaded the iFly 737, one of the aircraft which is compatible with this app. It's the PMDG 737NGX and the iFly 737. And um, so if we go here and we go to right click it and click on the control panel, as you can see, it is has selected the aircraft that I'm currently using. So it's the Airblin flying home for Christmas airplane um, just the first one that I picked and as you can see it shows the iFly 737 so uh, if we go back to the app uh, if you've configured everything correctly just go click on connect and as you can see it just shows the first page of the FMC and from here on you can con configure everything so performance uh, for example I think my flight simulator is on pause so it doesn't work right now but uh, in this video I'm gonna demonstrate you how the app works and what the positive and negatives are of the FMC app. So uh, thanks for watching this video here on the Aviation Pro channel. I hope to help you out. As you can see, it's very, very simple. It's similar to the remote flight app. And uh, if you have any trouble, you, I guess you can just get support from virtual avionics themselves. And um, I'm sure they will gl be glad to help you out. But uh, in general, um, it's, the configuration is very easy and it should not be too much of a hassle. So thanks for watching this video here on the AVH Pro channel. Again, don't forget to watch the review of the app. And I hope to see you next time on a new video.